Yo, hello, it's Povika from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make this Opium Stars effect. Before we start the video, I need to let you guys in on some new sauce that I have released, which is the Opium Presets Pack. It's a 30 plus presets pack that includes Opium glitches, Opium texts, and Opium effects, and I really recommend it if you want to get into Opium music video editing, or just create some cool Opium edits. But anyways, let's begin. Alright, so for this video, I'll be using this Playboy Cardi clip from the 2024 music video, and also I King Carson clip from Freestyle 2. So if you want to make this effect, you can press Ctrl Alt Y to add a new adjustment layer and you can cut it up to whatever size you want. I don't recommend to have this effect for the whole length of your, let's say, clip. All right, once you've done that, you can now add Deep Glow. Uh, here, I like to make the radius to 250. Now, Deep Glow is a plugin, so you might not have it, but I really recommend to have it. Uh, if you don't have it, it's fine. You can just use normal glow and then just add like free glows and then change the radiuses and intensities. And now let's add grain. So this is like an effect called add grain literally and uh, let's drag it on top of deep glow actually and make the viewing mode to final output the intensity to 2.5 size to 0 0.5 and now let's add Gaussian blur and here make the blurness to 2 and check repeat edge pixels and now we can add Venetian or Venetian I don't know how to say it blinds make the transition completion to 15% it's gonna give basically these scan lines and now we want to make the direction to 90 and the width to 7. Uh, now let's add levels. Uh, here I like to make the input black to like 94.4 but guys this might be very different for you. Uh, this depends on very much on the clip so this is a setting that you will need to change probably with different clips. This is just for this clip specifically. Uh, now let's add black and white so this one. Make the reds to 300, yellows to 197, greens to 300, canes I don't know how to actually say this word to minus 184, blues to 300, magentas to 200 and that looks absolutely amazing already. So a next effect I like to add is mosaic. Uh, this effect basically pixelizes your whole uh, video. So I like to make the horizontal blocks to 400 and the vertical blocks to 300. And now let's add signal. The first thing I like to do when adding signal is go to Luma modulation and always check off tape errors unless you like the tape errors that pop up like down there. And here I don't really change anything. And the last effect I'll add here is S invert. I forgot to mention that for signal you need the signal plugin and for the S invert you need the sapphire plugin. And here I just like to check off invert Luma. And that's it. You will basically have your effect. If you want to save this effect as a preset, you can press on one of the effects, press Ctrl A, go to animation, save animation preset, and here you can call it like OPM stars and then press save. And whenever you want to add it, you'll just be able to press Ctrl Alt Y. I've already saved it actually, so I'm gonna type OPM stars. Oh, actually, this looks kind of different for some reason. So we can look through the settings that I have here and check if anything I said is a bit different. I might have said the settings a bit differently. I'm not too sure. So yeah, just check through right here. Maybe the levels I set up it wrong, maybe the Venetian blinds. Oh, the Venetian blinds width was two. Oh, so that's the problem. So you can go back to Venetian blinds and here you actually need to make it to two. My bad guys. Oh, not just that. I, I did make some other probably mistakes. So yeah, you can just check here. If you find something where I made a mistake on, then please let me know. All right, guys, real quick. This is Povika from the other day and I actually found the problems. So here in the black and white, you need to go to black and white and, here, and you need to make the yellows to 100 minus 197 and also magentas to minus 200. Another problem I saw and it was like kind of weird, add grain. So for add grain, you actually need to make it a bit different in the tweak section you should make the intensity to just one i don't know i don't know what this problem is i think it's just my after effects messing around or something if intensity 2.5 worked for you better then keep it like that all right hopefully this helps yeah it looks super cool to make the actual opium stars you can add a free overlay that i've linked in the description i made it a while ago for one of my other tutorials so it's damage glint deep glow overlay i think yeah damage glint deep glow right here and you can add it below and basically you just need to right click on it and go to blending mode and here you can change it so whatever you want but my favorite one on this specific one is difference yeah so difference gives you these stars and if you want you can make the stars pop out just a bit more so to make that happen you can like add noise i like to make the amount of noise to 36 percent and uncheck use color noise and the next effect i like to add is uh, levels now with levels you really need to play around here a lot but for this clip specifically i have set it to like 35 0.7 uh, so you'll probably need to set it differently i'm not sure but this will make them pop up a bit more and i like to also make the gamma to 1.94 
why did I say that I think you should not have this effect on the whole video? Well, because you won't really understand what's happening. So my recommendation is like having like two frames with this no damage going deep goal. And then before that, just have like your normal clip. But also, I don't really know if I like how the way it goes in just with nothing. Like you see like this. So for this, I like to add some glitches. You can mess around like with signal and make hella cool glitches. But I have made some glitches for you in my opium presets pack. So if you have the opium presets pack, uh, you can press control twice and you could just cut it up like this i like to cut up to a couple of frames and i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna type opium glitch uh i have to announce one thing i am making an opium presets pack update really soon it's going to be free for the people who have the opium presets pack so really look out for that and also if you have made it this far to the video i also need to say that i have a code that gets you five dollars off on the opium presets pack which is called povicas but anyways there will be more glitches in the updates but i'm just gonna show you some examples here so i like like opium glitch 2 v2 so i'm gonna like make it like glitch like three frames behind so first it glitches like this then it glitches like that yeah so like glitches in to the effect this is probably one of my favorite ways to get into the effect and yeah there are more glitches to mess around here uh i also would recommend to like press ctrl to y and i would recommend to add like some black tiles here like motion tile so yeah i'm gonna add motion tile it just looks cooler if you make it like the output to like 80 these black boards up here uh maybe actually even 75 looks better here and yeah i think that looks super cool i really recommend to use it on a in a lot of cases but don't overuse it probably there should probably be like two times in the music video where you use this the other times i would recommend to use other opium presets we have more tutorials on other opium presets or you can also add effects from my opium presets pack also by using the damage glint deep code that i've linked in the description so i can show you what else you can do to get really creative results so in the intro of the video i actually did another effect so i used this damage glint deep glow overlay so i'm gonna press ctrl to y uh, i'm gonna actually add motion tile on top of this you need motion tile on top of this because look how it looks like the deep wall and here i'm gonna add opium 2 because i think it's a super dope effect and now it looks like this but let's go to the overlay i right click on it go to blending mode and i like to make the divide here and i'm gonna delete these effects right now actually and this is the look you will get this is one of the looks from the intro of the video you can add for example not the opium 2 but the opium 3 there are a lot of effects to mess around here for sure this is the look you will get i mean that is just insane right there this is how it looks without the overlay also super cool look super opium so for example like on this clip i would have like this opium effect right here and on the next clip i would have the opium stars but don't just like go instantly to another effect like have something like without any effects like here as you can see and then like glitches into the opium stars effect and then the opium stars effect finally happens so yeah guys i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions please let me know all right it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya